Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Dear faithful, consider that when you travel along the road, you see many accidents, or we read in, over the news or hear over the radio of many accidents and uh, houses uh, having fire accidents. This brings us to brings to our mind something very true that every carelessness and thoughtlessness cause physical and material harm to others who are innocent. All right? Many of us have been victims of the carelessness and thoughtlessness of others. But more importantly, let us consider that Every day, spiritual carelessness causes, causes also spiritual harm and even spiritual death to others. And that is very serious and important. So how does this happen? Some cause others to sin that they can be by scandal or by seduction or by cooperation in the sin of another. By scandal, one gives a sinful example that leads another to offend God. By seduction, one laying, laying, lyingly leads and persuades another into some crime. Now, cooperation differs from scandal and solicitation in, 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 in this sense, that solita solicitation leads um, um, someone into sin who had not decided to sin or seduction if you call it while cooperation su supposes that the other party had already made up his mind to sin so there's not a collaboration in the sin also the person that scandalizes the scandalizer leads into sin but does not help someone in committing it however the cooperator does not lead into sin, but helps in its commission. So let's keep this in mind, the difference between the person who gives scandal, the person who, um, who seduces others into sin, and one who collaborates in the sin. Now, we know that many people, many people daily cooperate in the sins of others. Cooperation means that we at least partly, we are partly to blame for the sin of another. Now, there are at least nine different kinds of cooperation, nine different ways in which we can participate in the sin of others. By command, by consent, by advice, by assistance, by defense, by praise, by silence, by not punishing and by not preventing. All of these are ways in which we participate in the sin of another and we we'll look at them bravely today. Now, how anyone in a position of authority could so far forget his responsibility as to command something wrong is difficult to understand. That because you are an a place of authority, you command something that is wrong. Yet, parents sometimes command their children to eat meat on Friday to stay home from mass for trivia, trivial reasons and even to cheat or to lie. Parents do that. Imagine, so when parents command, give this kind of command, they participate in the sin of their children. They cooperate in the sin of their children. Now, consenting to sin is also too common. Remember, see that certain parents consent to late hours, children coming late for, uh, to home, and then questionable companions on the plea that they want to avoid the tears and tantrums of their children. Or employers and employees consent to unjust practices, professional people to unethical, um, and criminal lawsuits and operations. And then also, 
married people consent to unlawful marriage practices. You see, by consenting to another sin, you share in the guilt of that sin. So let us keep this in mind, the fact of consenting to other sin in, in the different places we find ourselves. And now, some people advise others into sin. In that way, you cooperate in the sin. The, they are, and their numbers are almost uncountable. That you advise a sinner when you tell how and when and where he can commit a certain sin. Just imagine that you take it upon yourself. You are the master strategist telling the person how, when, and where he can commit the sin. In doing so, you co cooperate in his sin. Now, we think here of those um, devilish busybodies who give bad control, advice to, um, to anyone and everyone. Okay? This group is not limited to the professional planned parenthood promoters, but includes those some relatives and so-called um, friends, friends who advise someone how best he can use bed control. They recommend this or that doctor, such and such method, this or that um, uh, pharmacy, and all of that. These advisors share in the horrible guilt of the bed controller, the person who is killing an innocent life from its very uh, beginning, before it, it, it comes to be. Of course, certain lawyers advise how to prosecute an unjust suit and how, they break, and how to break up a marriage. Imagine using your, your professional skill for evil. And then we also cooperate in another scene by assisting in committing sin by, by our assistance. For instance, we, if we are to sell more liquor to one who has, has had enough to drink, okay? Suppose you, are, you, 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 sell, you deal in selling drinks, you know that this person has taken enough, but you want the money, so you still sell more to the person. You cooperate in the person's sin of drunkenness. All right? It's a form of assistance. Or if you were to give or sell bad control literature or instruments to another, that you'll be cooperating in the sin of that person. Or even if you were to, to give or give books, suggestive books to people who eventually will become occasion for them to sin against holy purity and all of that, you cooperate in their sin you, because of your assistance. Then also, if you were to be defending certain crimes, you also be cooperating in, in, in those crimes. We hear even so-called Catholics, imagine, defending certain sinful practices. For instance, misbehavior of children or immodest dress, given many reasons why people could be free to be immodest in one way or the other. We hear of one or the other parent defending a child in some wrong, strengthening the growing, uh, the growling in the determination to do something sinful. That is very bad. Of course, Many crimes will never be committed if the crime were not, were not sure that some um, um, unscrupulous lawyer will always be ready to find a loophole in the law to set the sinner free. All right? We have a, a, a kind of a, a series of cr criminal activities in our society because they know who and who among the lawyers who are skillful enough to set them free even though they are guilty. That brings to mind one being guilty before the law and being guilty before the court, right? That someone has committed a sin and then or a crime on, that you will wait until a certain law, a certain law court um, condemns the person before you say the person is guilty. Well, before the law, the person is guilty even if a skillful lawyer were to be 
able to free him from the uh, from the arms of the law in fact okay so when also you find yourself praising others for their sin you cooperate in their sin these people who praise others they praise the cleverness of one who stoops so low to sharp practices all right that you 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 cheer the person up and they will praise the bull-headed bravery of one who defies the law of the land and the laws of the church and even the laws of god in doing so you cooperate in the person's sin praising somebody's sin okay here think about the many of the movies of our days right that and in which people provide cooperation that they paint in a praiseworthy attractive and glamorous light those who rob and murder and commit adultery basically if any movie will make sense to the modern man today is because it it, it it somehow praises crime criminal action and adultery and all sort of perversity all of these people who do this cooperate in the sin of those who because of this end up in crime and and all those sinful habits of course we cooperate in the sin of others also by silence when we do not point out the moral wrong of certain practices when we have the the opportunity and the obligation to do so here parents easily are guilty of this they fail to speak up and tell those for whose souls they are responsible that this or that is a sin or that it will lead to sin in company we silently cooperate with the teller of uh, suggestive stories by not reminding him that he is insulting um, uh, your, your parents or all mothers as the case may be now that is one sin of course that we should always strive to avoid the fact of cooperation by silence if we kept quiet about certain sins as is done in all too many uh, many uh, many places today we could be guilty of cooperation in those who sin by our cowardly silence now parents and teachers judges cooperate in other sin by not punishing promptly and properly okay you, a, a child is in need of uh, or so a delinquent is in need of uh, punishment you don't punish on, uh, on time or properly you end up cooperating in the sin of that person also Consider that many sin could be prevented, but human respect, cowardice, indifference to moral wrong, laziness, a wish not to be bothered, making, make many fail to prevent a sin when it could be stopped. Here you see those who are bartenders who could often prevent a man from drinking too much. And also the city and the let's say the city, the local government, the authorities, the the state authorities, all could and should prevent the sale of uh, suggestive magazines and books and the display of sensuous pictures. But no, they are silent over this, and all of this promotes immorality in our society. So. Dear faithful, all of these ways by which we cooperate in another sin go against what the charity and love we are commanded to show our neighbor. Remember the, the gospel reading today it said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Okay? So if we must love our neighbor, then we shouldn't cooperate in a sin, but rather we should bring him out of sin. Now, there are also sins against the particular law which is violated by your cooperation. You must examine your heart this morning, search your soul, 
don't be responsible for the sins of others in the ways that we have mentioned, we have outlined. Instead, cooperate in good, command, consent, advise, assist, defend, praise and reward and promote what is good and holy in the sight of God. Show your love and prove your love for others by helping them to win heaven.